Hi children, hope you all are fine. Today we are going to learn about air and water. I know, it's not a new concept for all of you, right? Then why we learning about air and water? We all know one thing, in addition to food, we need two things for survive on this earth. That is air and water. So, you have to learn more about air and water. Okay? Today, I am going to teach about air. Let's go through air. Air Children, air is very essential for us. All living things need air for breathing. But it is invisible. Nobody can see it. It's like an invisible blanket around the earth. This invisible blanket around the earth is called atmosphere. So, what is atmosphere? Yes. The earth is surrounded by an invisible blanket of air which we call atmosphere. Next we are going to learn about components of air. Okay? Air is a mixture of different types of gases, water vapor, dust and smoke. There are mainly three types of gases present in the air. 78% of nitrogen, 21% of oxygen and 1% of carbon dioxide. In addition to this, we already mentioned that air contains water vapor and other gases like argon. Now we can discuss more about these three gases that is nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Okay. Yes. First one, nitrogen. It's the most abundant gas in the atmosphere. Air contains 78% of nitrogen. Children, you know, we use nitrogen in our daily life in many ways. Nitrogen has a number of uses. We can mention few of them here. Yes, importance of nitrogen. Nitrogen is so vital because it is the major component of chlorophyll by which plants do photosynthesis. Children, do you know what is chlorophyll? It is the green pigment present in the plants used for photosynthesis. So, nitrogen is so vital because it is the major component of chlorophyll by which plants do photosynthesis. Nitrogen is very important and needed for plant growth. So, nitrogen gas is used in the production of fertilizers. When applied to garden soil, nitrogen supports plants' rapid growth and healthy development of foliage and fruit. And nitrogen is used in the laboratories, blood bank, and food storage. Nitrogen gas is used in the laboratories primarily to control the atmosphere for highly sensitive equipment and procedures. And in the cases of food packaging, Nitrogen is used for creating a modified atmosphere 
where it is applied along with carbon dioxide for preservation of fresh packaged food. Now I am again mentioning these three uses that is nitrogen is so vital because it is the major component of chlorophyll. Nitrogen is used in the production of fertilizers. Nitrogen is used in the laboratories, blood bank and food storage. Okay. Next is oxygen. Air contains 21% of oxygen. It is the most essential gas. The presence of oxygen makes life on earth possible. All living things need oxygen for breathing. And oxygen is needed for burning. Oxygen helps in burning fuels. Oxygen helps in burning fats in human body, etc. Next, we are going to talk about carbon dioxide. Air contains 1% of carbon dioxide. Even though there is only less percentage of carbon dioxide in the air, but it has an important role in our life. It is needed by all green plants to make their food through the process of photosynthesis. And carbon dioxide plays a major role in trapping the sun's heat that enters the atmosphere. Air contains water vapor. Yes, you already mentioned that air contains water vapor. Where does this water vapor come from? Water vapor from surface of rivers, oceans, and other water bodies evaporates and forms water vapor in the atmosphere. Okay. Children, at last we are going to talk about properties of air. We cannot see or smell air, but we can feel it moving on windy days. And air has mass and occupies space, so air is a matter. Okay children, with that we can conclude today's lesson. Here it is a summary. Air is invisible. Air is a mixture of gases, water vapor, dust and smoke. Nitrogen is the most abundant gas in atmosphere. Oxygen is needed by living things for breathing. Plants use carbon dioxide for making food and air has mass and occupies space, so air is a matter. Children, I hope you all enjoyed and followed today's class. So stay tuned for upcoming lessons. Thank you.